Hello there, guys. Good morning. Welcome to Thursday. Happy Thursday to you. How are you today? I hope you are doing well as well as me. As usual, I'm a couple of minutes late. I'm still buttoning up my shirt. But listen, it's great to see you here this morning. Now, let me just check everything's working. <laughs> I think everything's working. Captions are on. Set up done. Come and say hello. Kanisha, you're the first one in. Fantastic. If I had a chocolate cake, I would give it to you for being the first one in to comment. And Elena, great to see you too. How are you doing today? So listen, today we're going to start up um, a big hello to all YouTubers and Facebook fans. Faisal, Wakas, Anusha, Simrandeep, Susha, Chao Ying, Unzu, oh, loads of you have suddenly come in. Hello and good morning. It's great to see you all. Fiji, Mohammed, Marina, Ruchi, Priya, Priya. Great name. Nice to see you here. Today, before we begin, I today is week three of lockdown. Um, so we've been stuck in our houses um, for three weeks and getting used to it. Every evening at eight o'clock, all the windows open and people come out, if, well, they, we don't have balconies, but they lean out of the window and they clap for all of the, the nurses and the medical staff. And I realized, of course, a number of my students are also nurses and doctors. And I think it's fantastic. I mean, w here in Spain, people lean out of the window and applaud, applaud the great work that the um, the medical staff are doing. So I just like to say a big shout out and a big thank you to all the medical staff around the world. I mean, including the doctors, the nurses, the pharmacists, the admin staff, the, the admin staff, the cleaning staff, anybody who's in that field, really on the front line, you're doing a cracking job. I mean, cracking as in fantastic. Um, big thank you and a round of applause to all those guys. And a big thank you to all you students who have come here to show up. <laughs> Brilliant. The first time you've come here, some of you are saying it's the first time to watch me broadcast live. Ah, nice. So we've got guys from, we've got Elena from Turkey. We've got Prab from India. Um, tu Hai Bui, I'm guessing is Vietnam. And Divya, hello and good morning. Um and Kanishka is joining me on the claps. But the claps also for you, because as students, to come here and to dedicate your time to learn some English and get ready for IELTS, hats off, right? Fantastic. Well done. Nam Tao Hill, it's also the first time. Brilliant. And smooth spoken English from India. <laughs> Hello, smooth spoken English. What was your mother thinking when she gave you that name? <laughs> I know it's not your real name. Right. Brilliant. Jack from Hong Kong. We've got a lot of people. People from Kazakhstan. Ali Khan. Brilliant. Excellent. And Bui Tang Pong, also from Vietnam. So today, we're going to look at the topic of celebrities. We're going to learn how to talk about celebrities. As usual, I will try and focus my um, language and class and ideas around questions that you may typically get in IELTS speaking, okay? And I will use my beautiful whiteboard. I thought I was going to say my beautiful assistant. No, I don't have an assistant, but I do have a whiteboard. And so the questions are, in fact, let me put these, now that I know how my chat works, <laughs> I'm using new technology, you see. If I do this, and somewhere my chat comes up here. Look at that. I can put my chat on the main screen. How clever is that? So some of the questions we'll look at today are, uh, who is your favorite celebrity and why? Great. Hello, Iggy from Poland. Nice to see you. And Soraya from Iran. Brilliant. Oh, Uzbekistan. That's great. Begzod. Great that you're here. Other questions. How do people become famous? Hmm, it's a common question. And do you need special skills to become famous? This has come up in part three quite a few times. So I actually put a question on my Facebook page and Facebook group 
Um, and by the way, if you're not in the Facebook group, come and join it later because you can get the handout that I do with the class um, and you can meet lots of other lovely people who are also very motivated students and lots of bits and pieces there to help you learn. So these questions um, come up sometimes in part one, sometimes part two, sometimes part three. So as I was saying, yes, get back on the track, Keith. Um, on the Facebook page and group, I posted, who is your favorite celebrity? And I got lots of answers about different celebrities um, and some interesting questions about what is a celebrity. Um, and that's a really good place to begin, right? What is a celebrity? Because some people said um, we had boxers, a lot of boxers, right? We had Aaron Khan. We had lots of people. <laughs> We had lots of different people um, who, well, boxers, footballers. Some people were not sure if footballers were celebrities, um, actors and actresses, um, Ferrer, the, the tennis player. So what is a celebrity? Well, it's a good question, right? What is a celebrity? Let's see what you're saying. Elena says, my favorite celebrity are the ones who donate money for different purposes, like Angelina Jolie. Now, okay, so famous people, but they then donate money. I think Aaron, Aaron, Aaron Khan does that. He's a philanthropist as well. There you go. There's a nice word. Philanthropist. Philanthropist. So people who donate their money, right? Um, then they're also known as philanthropists, a philanthropist in the singular when they donate the money. And you're right. Some celebrities are very, very good at doing that. Taylor Swift is a versatile celebrity, says Soraya. Famous singers and actors, yep, yeah, can be celebrities. That's true, absolutely. Um, we've got Ali Khan says, I assume individuals become popular due to their innovative and creative ideas or they, that they share or perform. That's a very nice, uh, very nice Ali Khan. They become popular, become famous, become popular due to innovative and creative ideas. Now, that's often true. In fact, some people say you become a celebrity by finding a unique solution to a unique problem, or you're creative and offer something that people want or need, right? Um, so in many ways, okay, business people could be celebrities, but not all business people are celebrities. Um, football stars, right, can be celebrities. I think David Beckham is a celebrity. But I think the reason they also become a celebrity, not only that they're famous, but they like being in the limelight. They like being in the magazines, on the social media, um, being in front of people. And I think that is that is one of the key things, right, that they like being in the limelight. Not all of them, not all of them like it, right? Apparently, apparently, Jennifer Aston does not like being in the limelight at all. Um, but business people who like being in the limelight, I'm thinking, for example, um, who have we got? Business people who like being in the limelight. You've got, um, oh, I can't remember his name. <laughs> the one from Virgin, right? Richard Branson. Excuse me, Richard Branson. He loves being in the limelight. He's a businessman. He's a bit of a celebrity, right? He is a bit of a celebrity. So I think, you know, there are different kinds. You can be, I'm going to show you, I'm going to share my screen with you, okay, to share some ideas here. Let me share this with you. Yeah, bear with me. Sharing screen. It's like going into overdrive. Application. This is like... Oh, no, this is like piloting an aeroplane. There are so many different buttons to press. Application, share. There you go. And that is probably a bit too small for you. Let me make it bigger. So here we've got singers, actors, social media celebrities. You know, like the Kardashians? The Kardashians are just... I think they're famous because they're famous. I mean, 
I think originally, maybe they didn't have any special skill or talent, but they became famous on social media. They became famous because they know famous people. Um, and they've grown in their celebrity, right? Sports people, business people, maybe who are in the limelight. So many sports stars also become celebrities as broadcasters or TV presenters, right? Um, people like Ian Wright, if you know him, or Gary Lineker. Now, they're all big on British TV television stations. Um, they are what we call um, has-been celebrities. So somebody who was famous for being a great footballer, but now they're not, so they're a has-been celebrity, right, in the past. They are no longer celebrities. And maybe they're making a comeback. They're becoming famous again, okay? Um, and I just added here some words about different kinds of celebrities because you've got some celebrities are very humble, right? They're very quiet. They're very meek, and they just – they're not in your face. They're just very, very low profile, right? Humble or low profile. Or even profile, thank you, autocorrector, even meek, right? That's one kind. But then you've got the other kind who have big egos. You're kind of Donald Trump's maybe. And these are also mavericks, so mavericks are people who break the rules, right? But they're quite innovative people as well. Um, so, you know, you're, you're kind of your Steve Jobs. Breaks the rules, but he's innovative and creative. So mavericks, it can be a positive thing, right? They have big egos. Okay. Right. So those are different kinds of people we can have. I'm going to come back to you guys. I've lost track with you a little bit. There were lots of messages coming up. Um, let's have a look what we've got. When people get a special skill, says Muhammad, in a special in a special area, they are made celebrities. That's true. Yes, in some cases. So they're famous in their area. Celebrity is famous in their area. And that's an interesting one. The Nan Dang says, right? So they're famous in their area because... I also wrote down here, we have this expression, a sporting celebrity or a singing celebrity. You can also say a celebrity in the world of sport or a celebrity in the world of entertainment, um, a celebrity in the field of business. So there are different ways of saying it. If you want to be more specific about you're talking about Ian Wright, you say, well, he's a celebrity in the world of sport or in the field of sport. And you can be more specific in your use. So they're famous in their area, in their field or in their world. So all of those three words are pretty good. And Nandang, thank you very much because you reminded me my first thing Thing. The first thing I was going to say was to look at some vocabulary because let's begin at the beginning, right? Celebrity, the word celebrity means a famous person, probably likes the limelight, but you can also use the word celebrity um, meaning fame. His celebrity grew. After he did the interview on TV, his celebrity grew. So it has kind of a two-way meaning, right? We talk about famous for, so the Kardashians are famous for, what are they famous for? They're famous for selling cosmetics, actually, um, or they're well-known. David Beckham is well-known for the way he kicks the ball. He curves the ball, bend it like Beckham. Now, interestingly, you can be famous for good things or famous for bad things. And if you're famous for bad things, we say notorious. <laughs> and you have to say notorious. Say it like that. It's really good. It will remind you where to put the stress, right? Notorious. So somebody um, can be notorious for something fairly bad. Justin Bieber, notorious for getting drunk, right? So he's famous for a bad thing. Or infamous, stress on the in, which is 
doesn't mean the opposite of famous. No, no, no. It means you are famous, but for bad things, right? He's an infamous singer. Then there's something bad about it. Maybe he takes drugs or gets drunk or just can't sing. <laughs> what? A singer that can't sing and is famous? Yes, there are lots of them, aren't there? <laughs> And talking about uh, fame, we can talk about uh, other words for being famous, um, renown. So with, as these are adjectives, just to make it clear. So a renowned singer, a renowned sportsman, um, celebrated or distinguished we use sometimes, but that's more formal, like for a writer or a scientist or a historian, slightly more academic. But we can also say recognize, right? A recognized uh, singer, a recognized influencer. Some we talked before about influencers. We should add that to the list, right? Um, influence, influencers. Brilliant. Good. Let me come back to your, you guys. You're much more interesting than me. Anissa says her favorite celebrity is Oprah Winfrey. Nice one. She is good. She is very, very good. Right, brilliant. Um, famous models, yes. What else have we got? <clears throat> right, I should record my voice so everyone can take advantage of your crystal clear voice. I am recording my voice. Here it is. But you mean just audio, right? It's a good idea. Um, Ruth, you couldn't find me on Facebook. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Now then, wait a minute then because... I'm sure I had people here on Facebook. Is anybody here from Facebook? <gasps> Don't tell me, Ruth, that Facebook is not connected. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Everyone's on YouTube. There's nobody from Facebook. <gasps> oh, what am I going to do? Why is it not streaming on Facebook? Oh, my God. <laughs> right. Let me come back. Now, that's got me really worried because I, I feel like a, a father who has left all of his children in the classroom. They're all in Facebook and they're not here. And for some reason, it's not connecting. Give me a minute. Still sending data. Come on, restream. Dear, oh, dear. Oh, no. Right. Right. In that case, bear with me, everybody. Talk to each other. <laughs> Talk to each other. You can actually... Um, ah, I think they're online. I think we're there. I think Facebook is online now. Wow. Thank you very much for letting me know. Okay. I think we're back. More celebrities. Elon Musk. Brilliant. Because Elon Musk, right? He's a, he's a business person, but he's, he's in the limelight. And he's a maverick. I think he's a maverick. He's very innovative, creative, always pushing the envelope, right? Nice expression, pushing the envelope. I will put these on my um, my worksheet and I can share them with it. Share it with you later. I can't multitask, have you noticed? I can't speak, do the technology and write at the same time. I have to do them one by one. I should have a drink. <laughs> Right. There's a nice one from An Anjali. When a person does extremely well in a particular field, he is a celebrity. I like that, in a particular field. Very nice um, collocation, Anjali. Lovely. Good. Um, <clears throat> yes. Oh, Andre Rio, a Dutch violinist. He is very good, isn't he? He's very good and a nice celebrity. Dan Brown, the writer. Wow. Excellent. Right. Who else have we got? Um, we've got a nice one here. Albert just clarifies that celebrity, a celebrity, is someone famous, typically, very nice, typically in the entertainment industry, whether for acting, singing, you mean, dancing or modeling. And influencers, very, very nice. Influencers are absolutely. Okay. What else have we got? Jack Ma, absolutely sheds out. Jack Ma is a, can I use a YouTube content creator? Yes, they are an influencer. Yes. Um, Jack Ma as well, absolutely sheds out. He is uh, definitely a celebrity. 
he he travels around the world and he gives speeches and talks and he's absolutely one. Okay. They go viral. Very nice expression. They do go viral. Excellent. Okay. Most of the modern celebs do not deserve the lives they have, says Igor. Um, a good test is asking yourself a question and it goes on. Would I invite them into my living room? <laughs> Would you invite them to your living room? That's a good question. Would you introduce them to your mother? Well, if they're infamous, no. But if they're famous and skilled and there's something to learn from them, maybe, maybe, yes. Okay. Okay. Um, anyone else here? We've got Emily. My favorite celebrity is San Vloet as well as Victoria's Secret's model, because she's always caring about her fans and she usually inspires my enthusiasm to chase my dream. That's interesting. San Vloet, I do not know her, but that doesn't surprise me because I don't know much about Victoria's Secret other than it is a famous underwear lingerie uh, line, right? <laughs> yeah, Sagar, you're right here about Dwayne Johnson. Yes, he's one of the uh, most versatile and top most and and... Mo uh, most and not most top paid celebrities thank you one of the top paid celebrities yes okay brilliant <clears throat> good 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 i'm just going to move through we've got athletes we've got all sorts world known hello from iraq hell from belarus from from korea we're all over the world brilliant I still don't see many facebook people oh yes i do ling ling hi from facebook good oh I'm so happy that the Facebook guys have connected. Brilliant. And Richard from the Philippines. Good. Guys from Facebook who are just joining me, um, <laughs> welcome. Sorry that we had that delay, um, but we're all here now. Jeremy Clarkson. Come on, Mike. <laughs> he is a celebrity. He's a maverick, right? I think he's always breaking the rules. Okay. Okay. Hi, hi. Good. The guys are here. Hoynalka's here. Brilliant. And Mary's here. Good morning. Sorry, guys, there was a, a connection problem. Um, but you're just in time because we're moving on. We're talking about celebrities and we're going to talk a bit about how the people become famous, right? How do people become famous? Now, in some cases, it may be um, how do people become famous? Oh, that was not the one. Where's my, <laughs> here it is. How do people become famous? Um, maybe, as we said, they have a special talent or they have a special skill or they have a knack at doing something um, or they're particularly talented and, or they have a flair. There's a nice word. They have a flair for doing things and then they show that to the world and they become famous, okay? Um I'm going to show you. Let me come back to my little whiteboard. My little whiteboard. Love it. My little whiteboard. Have a look at this. Here we go. Oh, it's like being back in the cabin application window. The, the flaps are up. The flaps are down. Full boost ahead. Share. There we go. So how do you become famous? You develop your talent. If you have a talent or your skills or develop your flair, your flair is a lovely word, right? Flair. Or if you have a knack at something. So if you have a knack at football or a knack at swimming, then you can develop that and showcase it to the world, right? So, and that's how many sports people and singers and actors become celebrities, basically, right? Now, the other way we talked about before in the world of business, for example, is you you are unique. You do something unique or you find a unique solution um, like Steve, Steve Jobs did, like Jack Ma did, um, all these entrepreneurs, right? Quite a lot of entrepreneurs um, become celebrities. Entre, and a word that we borrowed from the French and they will never get it back. Entrepreneur, it's like um, a business person sets up uh, their own business. But they have to stand out from the crowd because they need to be different to stand out from the crowd. It's a nice expression. Make a note. Be different from everyone else. 
Brilliant. Now, other ways. <laughs> so this is also true, right? You can market yourself. You can get noticed. You can post a silly post on Instagram and become famous overnight. Some people, they just post their cat fighting their dog and suddenly their video goes viral and they become a celebrity. Um, there have been a few celebrities like this in the last few days who have posted themselves singing songs like stay at home. <laughs> I've got to show you me. They have. I've seen a British person, a Spanish person. There was an Argentinian singing, stay at home or quédate en casa, quédate en casa. And they make a little song about staying at home and suddenly it goes viral. It's on the news and they're a celebrity, like overnight. It's amazing. So you can post a silly post and you can become a celebrity in no time. Nice collocation, in no time, in no time. Um, and connect it in no time. Let me show you how it's written. That might help. I'll get back into my aeroplane. Here you go. Uh, become famous overnight in no time. <clears throat> really quickly, right? Um, and you can create a following. It's interesting, right? We take the verb following and make it into a noun, a following or a fan base. And once you have a fan base, you're there, especially on social media. <clears throat> right. Other things here are you can audition for a reality show or a talent show. There's an element of luck. You know, you might get uh, selected and chosen or you might not. But interesting. Let's have a look. Uh, let me come back to you guys. There's uh, some interesting posts here. Stop screen sharing. Stop screen sharing. The computer's telling me to stop screen sharing and share Richard. Let's share Richard, who says a person who's receiving a lot of attention is considered a celebrity. That's nice. Receiving a lot of attention. Love it, Richard. Somebody receiving a lot of attention. Uh, Megan and Prince Harry, absolutely. Now, I think they are celebrities, right? Even though they are their royal family, but because so much they've received a lot of attention i agree i think they are celebrities yep absolutely others um stephen curry we've got famous celebrity yuval noah haradi oh that's great that's a nice expression from wenting um it's such an eye-opener so if you get a chance to read his book it's intriguing and informative very nice language an eye-opener will open your eyes is great excellent um i know there's a bit of a delay and i've realized this there's about a second delay between my lips and the voice right sorry hey casito nice to see you here brilliant okay veronica says her favorite celebrities are bts who are a korean group they're not only singing and dancing but actively in the field of ha huh. <laughs> you can't see it in the field of have a in the field of rights and social acceptance. So I think this is true. A lot of celebrities nowadays who are not only famous, but also philanthropists, um, activists, uh, helping others, right? Active in the field of human rights. That's lovely. Um, then, yes, they're also very popular and become famous. Brilliant. Queenie says, I am her celebrity on YouTube. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm not a celebrity. I don't want to be a celebrity. Get me out of here. Oprah Winfrey. She is charismatic and known for her charity work. So that's great. That's another way. Neil says known for her charity, known for, famous for. Her charity works in the plural. I like it because she's doing more than one activity, right? Brilliant. And there are more. Kagi says, one of the most prominent celebrities. Very nice collocation. And this is what makes the difference between a band five or six and a seven is the collocations where you're adding adverbs and adjectives. And, you know, your superlative. Kaji, this is great, right? One of the most prominent celebrities. Great. Um, that admires me a lot. Oh, now that's not so great, Kaji, because I don't think... I may be wrong, but I don't think J.K. Rowling 
admires you, I think you admire her, right? That's a common mistake. It's a common mistake in Spanish as well because it's the other way around in Spanish, right? <laughs> Don't worry. I love the first part, though. Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter. Great. Right. Who else have we got? <clears throat> People become famous because of their talent. Okay, excellent. They do extraordinary things, yes. And also, as HL Stories says, may be famous for some super silly things, as we mentioned. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Um, some politicians are becoming celebrities. Um, now, here, yes, your Indian prime minister is also becoming a bit of a celebrity. His strategies made him a celebrity. Also, Boris Johnson has become a celebrity. But I'm not sure if he's become famous or infamous because I'm not sure his strategies are good or bad. There's, they're very controversial. Either way, the person becomes a celebrity, right? <clears throat> okay, brilliant. Excellent. Let's have a look. Wow, interesting. We've got a historical figure. Now, Mary, can historical figures be Napoleon Bernard? Can historical figures be celebrities? I think you would have to say my his, my favorite historical celebrity to make it clear it's somebody from the past. <clears throat> so Napoleon Bonaparte, interesting mindset. He came from a poor bullied boy. He became emperor of France. I read so much about him. He's extremely talented and, and intelligent. A lot of these... Um, a lot of these celebrities have what we call a rag to riches story. And it's great to, port, to talk about this rag to riches stories where someone um, starts off very poor or from a very humble background. I think like your Jack Mars, Richard Branson a little bit um, and Napoleon, right? They have they start off very poor and they make their way up in the world. And it's called a rag to riches story. Let me just write this down. <coughs> Don't worry about the cough. No, because I'm not drinking enough at all. Mm. Oh, there's nothing like a good cup of tea. Lovely, good. Um, so make their way in the world. Let me share this with you. Mm. This one. So, oh, Mary, I'm going to have to cancel you. Sorry. Bing. Oh, I'm going to have to cancel that one as well. Sorry. So they make their way in the world. So when they're poor and they become rich, they make their way in the world. And it's often a rag to riches story. A rag is a very cheap piece of cloth. Riches, obviously, right? So that's nice. I think that's a really nice expression, a rag to riches story. Thank you for that, Mary. That's great. Now, Gosh, we've got guys from all over the world here, from Myanmar as well. Okay. <clears throat> Creativity in the field. That's great. Vijay, hi. Nice to see you. Right, good. We've got lots of ideas here. <clears throat> um, now, whilst we're here, I'm going to show you something uh, very, very curious because I think we talked about celebrities and being in the limelight, okay? Um, so I was... When I thought of celebrities, I thought of a famous TV show, came from Britain originally, though it's been exported, um, is Get Me Out of Here, I'm a Celebrity, right? And they take celebrities, they put them in a jungle or on a little island, and they have to survive different tasks. And there's lots of these now. We've got Love Island. We've got all sorts of these reality shows that have become so popular. And I was looking at this one because, to be honest, I've never watched this. I'm embarrassed to say I should do, right? Because I should get up to date on what's happening in the world of celebrities. But I had a look at the website and um, let me just show you this. I don't know if you can hear it, but you can definitely watch it. <clears throat> right, I'm a celebrity from ITV. Get me out of here. There's Anton Deck, two celebrities. Right, here it is. I don't know if you can hear it. It's time to announce our winner. Since last night, we've had over 11 million votes. It has been incredibly close, but those votes have been <laughs> And we now have yours 
We now have your decision. The winner of Other Celebrity, get me out of here, 2019, and the new. So, just to be clear, these are the two finalists. The man and the woman are the finalists. They're being very friendly, obviously, they've made friends. And one of them is going to win. And if you follow this program, you know which one. Um, but see what happens when they find out who wins. Surprise, surprise. Lots of tears. And uh, she's very, very emotionally upset. <laughs> or very, very happy, obviously. Very, very happy. And it's great TV, right? This is what makes great TV. And these are the, cele the 2019 celebrities, okay? Um, now, you probably know these guys. Caitlyn Jenner, Nadine Cole. I've got no idea who these people are. Really, I'm really sorry to say. I've got no idea. Um, the only one I know is Ian Wright, the footballer, this one, right? And he is a bit of a has-been celebrity. Um, <laughs> and this program got a lot of criticism for um, kind of taking old has-been celebrities and uh, helping them make a comeback. Anyway, that's it. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. It's Actually, now it's filmed in the UK, got lots of criticism. Um, and actually, they said, if this program carries on, we hope that the viewers will revolt. <laughs> and it's gone all over the world. Australia, Denmark, France, Germany, you've all got this. Hungary has got one. Hoy Nalke, you've got this in Hungary as well. India has it as well. Sweden. Um, it's amazing how popular this stuff is. The world of celebrities, right? Very, very interesting. So I'm not going to recommend it. I've got no idea. I've never watched it. <laughs> anyway, let's see. Oh, now here's a nice one. Sana Carr. This is very nostalgic. Lady Diana was, maybe not is, but was the most popular celebrity. Or maybe she still is. I think her son has become much more popular. Little Harry. Right. So um, Ming says, right, the, they are the first people who have creative and unique, 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 it's a difficult word, unique ideas that have influence on others. Absolutely. Okay. Brilliant. Now, so we're gonna, I'm going to move to the next question, right? And the next question, yes, you see, it, this is really good. Sanjay, they have something that the majority, the majority of people don't have in science and technology so they have something different so my next question for you is this question right is here we go let me pop it in here mm. do you need oh dear talk about bad english sorry <laughs> oh dear keith just got fired he lost his job because he can't write english properly sorry That again, special skills to become famous. Do you need special skills? Right. Oh, I've just seen a famous writer that I really like, and it's from Sophia. Let me share this with you, right? Because if you've not read Robin Sharma, go and read Robin Sharma. He's very, very good, very motivational, uh, and he's a big celebrity. Yes. Books like A Monk Who. <laughs> A monk who, who did what? Who had a cup of tea? No, the monk who sold his Ferrari. Interesting, right? Go and have a look at it. But let's come back to this question. Do you need special skills? Let me see what you think. Write down your ideas. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Not necessary. No, if you're gorgeous, says Anna Yu. Mm. Yes, absolutely. And talent too. No, if we have some thinking outside the box, we will become popular, says Varisha. Uh, Varisha is one of those really good students who is using new language quickly, saying, if we think outside the box, we can become famous in no time. Nice. 
Mary says, depending of the size of popularity, many celebrities, many are celebrities but are not famous. And celebrities are not limited only to human beings. That is true. Some animals become celebrities, right? You remember Rex and Lassie, Lassie the dog. Uh, that's true. But I think celebrities have to be famous, don't they? I think they do. I think they do. But you can convince me otherwise. Why not? <clears throat> yeah, Teresa, everybody loves in being in the spotlight. What else have we got? Yes, in some ways, they can become famous in no time. Brilliant. Nice, Eugene. Joker TV, I think we do not have any special skills to become a celebrity because all the skills can be practiced carefully and you can prepare these skills. Right. There's a, I guess maybe it's also about skills and talent, right? Because skills you can develop and anybody can develop. But the combination of skills and talent is where you get something special, your magic Johnson um, or whatever your special skill is. I think maybe skills and talent makes it unique. But you're right, Joker. Anybody can develop skills. Well, anybody. No, it takes perseverance, hard work, like you guys, studying every day, developing your speaking skills. Um, you know, other friends of yours who are in bed are not developing the skill. So they, that, the, <laughs> the skill of developing the skill is a skill. Think about that one. Now, Catherine, that's nice. They must differentiate them themselves really nice let me show you that because i like that word differentiate because we all know the word different but did you know the verb to differentiate that's nice they must differentiate themselves be unique right i agree entirely with shabana lots of hard work and determination lovely word mm -hmm. ruth that's an interesting one right you shouldn't be afraid to be in the limelight Although some famous celebrities hate the limelight, actually, some of them. Great. Charisma is important. Go to the peak of it. That's true. Uh, right. Yeah, Veronica, I think you're probably right. In the past, people gain popularity. It's another good collocation. Gain popularity for special skills. But things are changing. drink it so it's interesting there are yeses and there are no's right <clears throat> people like definitely yes cristiano ronaldo ronaldo because of his hard work and dedication but i think also he had talent or flair he had that something special <laughs> oh this is interesting right you need some financial power maybe Right. If you're rich, it probably does help, actually, to get more famous. You can buy your way to fame. Uh, brilliant. Andrea is offering a nice idea here. A person does not need special skills, but they need special skills to keep themselves famous. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. No, not really. Yes, no. Right. So, um, it's very, very interesting. What else have we got? So Love Deep, Love Deep, that's a nice name. Love Deep, Sandu. Some people are gifted with some special skills, which makes them popular amongst others. For instance, people with a good voice in singing become famous in no time. Brilliant. Great students here. Brilliant. Pachu. Great. Hi, Pachu. Yes, they should be creative, like writing books, telling funny stories and surviving skills. Apart from this, appearance is also one of them to become popular. So does appearance play a role, right? Maybe their looks. Somebody earlier said you have to be gorgeous to be a celebrity. Maybe. Um, okay, let me share some ideas with you as we're looking here. One moment. So do we need special skills? Well, on the one hand, yes. Um, let me just hide Andrea. Sorry, Andrea, time to go. Um, oh, no, what's happened there? Come back. Okay. Now here? Yes. So on the one hand, yes, you need to be unique. 
and you you really need to be the best in your field or be at the top of your game and that can be about persistence perseverance developing your skills um, until you become the very best in the world and if it's combined with flair and talent then you can become a real celebrity right that said looks might be enough some celebrities are, are, are celebrities in large part because they are gorgeous good looking attractive they match the expected um the expected what the expected sense of beauty or aesthetic image that we th have in our modern society and so maybe the marketeers can promote you right if you're good looking enough the marketeers can promote you to make sure you're you're famous so i think maybe in large part it's a nice little expression in large part um being attractive uh might is important it's not always true right i mean being attractive or take jack ma right jack ma is not the most handsome man in the world but he's a celebrity but in the world of entertainment particularly right so for in the world of entertainment in large part being attractive is important the marketeers we have this expression in english you may have in your own language they can sell ice to the eskimos right so it doesn't matter if the person can sing or not if they're good looking the marketeers will promote you because they can sell ice to the eskimos <laughs> you don't necessarily need to be talented and i just point this out because it's a nice use of the word necessarily right you don't necessarily need to be talented i think it's a nice little expression you don't necessarily need to be gorgeous but it helps you don't necessarily need to be talented if you develop the skill set that might be enough yeah so some nice ideas language there lots of language hello right brilliant charisma is important lots of things are important what else have we got let me come right down here oh right El alias says it depends on luck sometimes and i think absolutely look plays a role right that we in luck right there is an element of luck but <laughs> that's true um but in england a lot of people say you create your own luck right you create your own luck pronounce luck in the northern english way look your own look you create your own look there's an element of look. I know that's not how you pronounce it in south of England, but in the north, we say you create your own look. You do. You create your own look. No such thing as look, right? You just create your own look. Right. Excellent. Here we go. Here we go. I'm back to my local Manchester accent again. Oi. So now then here's a nice one from varisha one can become a celebrity if they get a platform to showcase their talents i love that Sh showcase their talent and one of those platforms is britain's got talent the x factor da, da, da. there's lots of them right the voice great oh that's nice to hear right let me shell balraj I got a band eight enlisting because of you. No, not because of me, Balraj, because of you, because of the time spent developing your skill. But I'm very happy if I have helped. Thank you for that comment. That's really nice. Um, Gulin, okay, lots of different questions coming in. Gulin, 18th April. I, well, it depends which country you're in, Gulin. So this is managed in a countrywide state so in decisions in the majority of european countries the tests are cancelled in april um i don't know any country that's doing tests in april but in asia i'm not sure actually they cost you your british council or id and check the website they should have updates on the wex on the website great 
<laughs> this is nice. Sagar, it's not possible without doing hard work and smart work. Hard work and smart work. I like that. The difference between hard work and smart work, right? You need both. We can't make an omelette without breaking them. The expression I think you're looking for is, you. well, I don't know. That doesn't fit. You can't make an omelette without breaking eggs is the expression. But that means you can't create something without upsetting people. So I'm not sure that's right, but <laughs> it's great. This is the way to this is the way to learn, right? Is to try things and find out if they're right, right? So let me just you can't share with you, you can't make an omelet. And maybe you mean something totally different, but that's fine. You can't make an omelet without breaking means you cannot create something without making people angry or without hurting people, right? We say this about a lot of business people, right? I can't build a big business without hurting or upsetting some people. You can't make an omelette without breaking eggs. Is this free? you? <laughs> have you paid? No, of course it's free. Yes. Yes, of course it's free. It's Sorry, it's obvious to me, but yes, it is free. Yes. Raj, you've got a seven in speaking, but surely that's good, Raj. Surely that's good. Yep. So just an update here for Prab says in India, there's no exam because of uh, because of the coronavirus. Um, and a very good question. We're going into IELTS questions, aren't we? From celebrities to IELTS. Um, this one, which do you recommend? They are exactly same the same the evaluation is exactly the same the only thing that's slightly different is the customer service but i think these are both international professional organizations they are both very very good so don't think about which one just choose either they're both very good of course i think right let's move on guys we've talked a lot about um being famous Emily, tomorrow's your exam. Best of luck. Good. I hope it goes well for you. Um, and I'll do a shout out to all people doing exams in the next day or two. But just to wrap up today, before we finish, right, um, we've been talking about celebrities. We've looked at the questions, who is your favorite celebrity? What is a celebrity? How do people become famous? And do you need special skills to become famous? So I help. I help. I I, huh, I hope, that's what I was saying, I hope this has helped you get some, not only vocabulary, but collocations and phrases, right? My big focus is on phrases. Don't just learn a word, learn the phrase, the collocation, because that helps you understand how to use a word. But it also improves your fluency. So I hope this has helped. In the last five minutes, there's two things I want to do, right? One is a shout out to everybody who's got their test. So let's do that first. Anybody who's got their test in the next day or two or three or four, right? It's a big thumbs up. Now, I can't do likes, but really, if you can put a like on their chat, then please do. So shout out to Emily, whose exam. Does anybody else have their exam coming up? There must be, there's probably very, very few countries, right? Well, have been cancelled. Um, it's Margaret, there is computer based in some areas. Oh, Raj is upset because he wants 8.5. <laughs> slowly, slowly, Raj. <clears throat> Time, don't worry, Igor. It's my pleasure, really. So it is my pleasure. Um, anybody else? for next time right good 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 thank you very much and anybody else i can't see anybody else test it might just be emily best of luck emily <laughs> Igor had to cancel exam in iraq has cancelled danielle april the 18th in russia danielle best of luck to you best of luck that's great Great. Lots of thank you for the recommendation. 
Nepal has been cancelled. Oh, Gladys, exam on Sunday. I hope that goes well. Um, it looks like Vietnam has been postponed. Ting Ling, next week. Best of luck. I hope it really goes well. Um, and Sue James, James, you're waiting for your result tomorrow. Great, good. Okay. Best of luck for all students. Great. So I'm going to finish up. I want to experiment on something. Okay. Um, okay, we've got one more there. Happy Sandu, great. IELTS focus on task. I'm with you. Yep. We'll be doing that. Do you save this live stream? Yes, it saves automatically both on Facebook and both on YouTube, right? How to join your Facebook? Well, go to the Facebook page. It's um, Facebook. And just go there and uh, and go to the group. Go and join the group. You can join the face of the group. Let me give you a link to both. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. That's the Facebook page. I'll put these links in the um I'll put these links somewhere. Where am I going to put these? In the kind of the show notes. They have something called show notes, don't they? Uh, wait a minute, bear with me, everybody. Don't go yet, because I want to do something with you all. Don't go yet. I want to do something. I want to do something. And there's the um Facebook groups. Keith IELTS Mastermind. You can just search for it. Go and join the group. It's all free. There's all stuff. There's the videos are there week after week. You've got lots of stuff there. So here's what I want to do, right? Because it's asking me, can, can we do something on fluency and intonation, right? So rather than topics and questions and uh, vocabulary, can we help develop fluency and intonation? And I thought that was a really good question, right? So... I'm thinking about this for the next week, maybe the next week or two, to do something called what I call a fluency gym, right? And I want to see what you think of this idea, right? Um, now, you might think I'm a bit crazy and possibly. So the fluency gym is, is to develop your fluency and intonation because a lot of people watch the videos which is great, but if you don't start practicing, you're not going to improve your fluency. And I notice a lot of people write model answers, right? But if you don't start practicing speaking, your fluency will not get better. And your intonation is really hard. You need to work on intonation as well. So the fluency, the fluency gym came to me because in the last few weeks in lockdown, me and my family got onto YouTube and we got into a fitness video. It's called The Happy Walk. And if you've not done The Happy Walk, go and have a look at it. Basically, it's a gym trainer with some people, and they're walking, right? Walk, walk, walk. And you, in your bedroom or in your lounge, you're, you're there as well watching. And they begin up, 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 up. And you start doing these exercises. And you work out, right? And it's repetition. Now, with English fluency, there are two ways you improve your fluency. One is what we call controlled and called exercise. And that's like where you just repeat. So like you lift the weight, one, four, repetition. That's one way. The second way to station practice. You're using the language, but you have to be creative and flexible and respond to people and speak out. The first is controlled practice, repeating, and the second is just free speaking and conversation. And I want to try with you something on the first one. It's simple repetition, right? So I'm going to five minutes with you and all, all you do imagine gym and i'm the trainer and you're just repeating with me right so turn on your ears ding both ears ding and carefully and repeat with me right Day. but focus on 
intonation, fluency, um, because you'll just repeat. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to do this for like three or four minutes, right? This may be a bit strange, but let's see what you think. If you've got people around you, don't, you're just going to have to speak out loud. Okay. I'll show you. I'll, but first, you need to train your ear. Just to listen to the sound and read. Are you ready? <laughs> right. Stop typing messages. You're still typing. Typing. Turn on your ears. Mm. Here we go. Are we ready? Do you like reading? Do you like reading? Yeah, I'm a big fan of reading. Yeah, I'm a big fan of reading. Okay, so notice. I'm a big fan of reading. Fan of reading. Yeah, of reading. I'm really into crime novels, actually. I'm really into crime novels, actually. And notice, actually, actually, not actually, no, actually, actually. I'm really into crime novels, actually. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why. Get that right. I'm not sure why, but I love solving. Love solving puzzles. Love puzzles. But I love solving puzzles. <laughs> I'm nodding my head. Right. I love solving puzzles. Stop writing. I can still see you writing. Stop writing and repeat. Listen again, right? Yes, I'm a big fan of reading. I'm really into crime novels, actually. I don't know why, but I'm a big fan. No, <laughs> but I do love solving puzzles. Next one. The question is, do you cook, right? That's the question. Yes, I do. Do, 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 do. It's like a pigeon. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I'm rather fond of cooking. De, 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 de. Fond of cooking. I'm rather fond of cooking. Yes, I do. I'm rather fond of cooking. Yes, I do. I'm rather fond of cooking, to tell you the truth. I find it really relaxing. I find it really relaxing. Okay, feel the lilt. I dare I find it really relaxing. I find it really relaxing. Last one. Okay. Question is do you run? As a matter of fact, I do. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I do into running. I'm really into running. Notice the intonation at the end comes down. Usually in English, it comes down at the end. I'm really into running. Yeah, not I'm really into running. No, I'm really into running. That, guys, is the Fluency Gym. Okay. <laughs> You're late. You're very late. We're finishing, Tom. So that is it. That's just a simple example. It's really, um, it's a bit strange maybe, but the idea is to get you listening and to then focus on your intonation and fluency. Great. People are writing it down. It's good to write it down. But you must, you have to repeat, do, 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 do
If you can repeat do 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 do, as a matter of fact, I do 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 do. do. It can help. It can be right. <laughs> Good. You're welcome. Good. That's it, Jim. Five minute, Jim. How easy is that, right? For your reference, these are the things that I uh, I said. So you can come back to this video. Actually, come back to the video. Practice. It's really important. Don't read, right? Try and listen to me and follow my sounds. It's all about sounds. <laughs> Saga, you're very funny. Have you done any insurance of your holy tongue? <laughs> Please put this fluency gym in podcast. Oh, Elias, it's a good idea because I would love to do a podcast, but I don't know what to do. How about the fluency gym? Right, good. It seems a few of you quite like it. Okay, excellent. <laughs> I know the fluency gym is not for everybody. It's not everybody's cup of tea. But trust me, I, I, am, I know what I'm doing. If you do this, even five minutes a day, even after a week, you will notice fluency getting better. Do it for two weeks, you will feel your fluency getting better. It does make a big difference, okay? Right, that's it. Good ideas, thank you very much. Accent matters or not? No, accent does not matter. It is not part of the evaluation, right? Can you post more with audio? Well, what I will do, Yen, I will do more practice with you guys in the gym, and then maybe later I can do some audios, maybe. Because then you can practice at home, right? Right, Kanishka, good. That's good to know. Love the lesson. Thanks a ton, Soraya. I love that. Thanks a ton. Brilliant. When is the next lesson? <laughs> Margaret, it's my cup of tea. Nice one. Um, the, when is the next lesson? Well, it's every Tuesday and Thursday at the same time. That's Spanish time. Um, it's normally half an hour but I have a habit of just talking and talking. So today it's gone over an hour. I'm so sorry. It's far too long. Um, but can you start the fluency gym tomorrow? I'm afraid I cannot. I am so too busy. I've got so much on. Um, so it's going to be next Tuesday, weekly or daily. It's weekly. It's twice a week. Sorry, twice a week, Tuesday and Thursday, 10 a.m., Spanish time. I'll just put it up here. Um, Tuesday and Thursday, 10 a.m. in Spain time. Why Spain time? Because I live in Spain, of course. There you go. Tuesday and Thursday, 10 a.m. Spain time. If you're not sure of the details, check it out on the Facebook page. Come and join the Facebook group. That's Keith's IELTS Mastermind. Um, I will post the the notes from today in the group. You can get them there. It's all free, of course. Um, you can access it. You can talk to people, um, get to know each other. If you want to find speaking partners, do it. Ask me any questions. Um, if you've got ideas, and I've seen lots of ideas here today, um, thank, thank you for the ideas, and I will try and follow up with some. Great. Excellent. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you so much, really, for following me and coming in and for trying the fun. I hope you like it. We will do some more next Tuesday. All right, that's it, guys. I'm signing out. Stay home. Stay safe. Quédate en casa. <laughs> good night, everybody. Good night. Good morning or good night. Maybe it is night for you. Cheerio.